Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here, and uh, today I'm going to be going over Boxy. I know uh, I'm a little bit behind on this. I said I was going to bring it uh, soon after my Google TV review, uh, but uh, in any case, here it is. So essentially, uh, what Boxy is, is that it's software that can run on uh, home theater type uh, uh, hardware, and the idea is to uh, aggregate all of your online media streaming services and uh, take all of your uh, video content, put it all in one place in a nice user interface, and uh, display it on your TV. Um, so you got to have a good uh, interface to uh, select and navigate and move around and sort out all of your uh, files and whatnot and your media and your online streaming services. So uh, to get Boxy, you got to go to the website and you can uh, download and install it. They make it for uh, Windows, they make it for Mac, and they make it for Linux, I believe. We'll check it out right here in a second. Um, so essentially, you got to create an account, and it's free, so it's really easy. You just uh, create an account here for uh, when you set up Boxy. And uh, Boxy also runs on its own hardware, so they make uh, a D-Link makes a, a box here that runs Boxy. And uh, the cool thing about the box um, is that when there's updates or added features, the box will typically get it first, right? So you have the software, you run it on your hardware, on your own computer, um, that uh, is free to use and everything. Um, but the downside is, is that uh, if there's new features or new partnerships or new uh, added whatever that they do to it, um, it comes in a little later and the boxy box will get it first and the reason is that okay see the new updates and features if it goes on your computer right it may not work because maybe it doesn't work out well with your hardware um, they since they know what the boxy box is and they can test it out on there and they know that everybody who has a boxy box it's the same boxy box so they've got uh, the same hardware so whatever that they do um, to the software works on their hardware it's gonna work for the people's hardware at home right but that's not the case for your uh, own computers um, everyone's computer is different everyone's video graphics card uh, hard drive operating system even it's all different so uh, updates and features may not uh, work uh, for every single um, boxy software on different hardware so uh, that's a little bit about uh, the difference between the two um, so here you've got an option to buy the boxy box or make your own and they've got great documentation on setting up boxy on your own computer it's get your hardware download and install add services pretty simple pretty straightforward so I'm gonna let you do that yeah, so they do make it for Mac, Windows, and Linux, right? And uh, just so you know, Boxy is built on top of uh, something called the XMBC, um, which is another type of uh, home theater streaming uh, interface program. Uh, it's it's a great one, too. I haven't tried it out yet, but uh, I'm just going to uh, show you guys the, the Boxy box, um, or the Boxy software right now. Right, so I've already got it downloaded and installed on my machine. Um, it's on another um, screen right now. I'll show you. I'll get my webcam here, and I'll show you that it's running on my TV. Right there. Right. Uh, pay no attention to this right here. That's my screen recording. All right, so that's running on my TV now. How I have it set up. Right, is um, is that it's connected to my computer via VGA. Uh, my computer is capable of taking the uh, HDMI uh, from my graphics card, but I have it connected to my TV uh, by VGA, and I'm using my computer speakers here as my audio source. Uh, another option that you could do is, if you want, you can instead of using your computer speakers, you could use your TV speakers. So if you connect it to HDMI and get all that set up, um, you can have your audio and video go through HDMI to the uh, TV. Uh, that's not in every case. Some video cards uh, will take 
will send out audio through HDMI, so it depends. Um, but uh, the way I have it, the, the for sure wor way that would work is that um, I use my computer speakers and my monitor as a second monitor, and I set up Boxy on my second monitor. Um, and you can choose between the two. Right? So uh, another option, too, is that a lot of TVs that have VGA will also have an audio input. So it's like a stereo mini jack. And I could show you, actually, my TV doesn't have it. But um, that's another option. So you can have uh, a splitter, right? You go from one is your speakers, your computer speakers, and the other one is a TV. And then you can have your audio source come out of your TV like that. And your computer speakers if you wanted to. Right, so that's a little bit about the AV setup. I'm not going to get too detailed in that. Um, so, with that said, I'm assuming that you're going to download and install uh, Boxy yourself and then create a user account. Remember that because you'll need it to log into Boxy. So now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go jump into Boxy and start uh, messing around with it. All right, so now we're in Boxy, and uh, this is the home page, right? So when you first log in, uh, you're going to be presented here. Basically, in the middle here, you have your featured content. So this changes regularly, right? So you can click on it, and it'll start playing a, a video, right? So uh, what you have up top here are your files. Now, you can have Boxy look for files on the machine itself, and in which case, I do have a lot of uh, media content on this particular computer here. And uh, you can add uh, streaming services to your Boxy uh, program. And you can also connect to another computer, and if that other computer is sharing media content, then you can also uh, tap into that other computer and then stream video from another computer. That's a really cool feature because I have video on my living room computer, I have video on this computer, and they share. They both have Boxy, so they share video between each other. right? And, uh, and I'll show you a little bit about that too. But uh, essentially, here in my photos, I don't have any photos hooked up to this uh, Boxy. I don't have any on my uh, local machine, so it doesn't really have anything, but I can sort certain things out here and you would see photos, right? And then uh, for music, I do have music and I have a lot of music actually. And if you notice, there's a lot of uh, album covers, right? So my music didn't have any of these album covers. My music does have a lot of met metadata and uh, it has like album names and whoever is on here. Um, so what Boxy does is that it goes out on the internet and searches for album covers and it applies it to the music that you have here which is a really really neat feature um, now it doesn't find everything so if you look there's some uh, music here that's not able to find the album covers so they just leave it with just the name of the title and you could do it yourself if you wanted to um, I'm not going to get too much into that but uh, that's something you could definitely check out don't judge me by my music. Uh, I have a lot of music here that people ask me for or they give me, so you know that's why I have all this stuff. Anyways, it's for testing purposes. Yeah. So, on to uh, the movies. Same deal with the movies. Um, basically, it goes out and it finds the album covers for the movies that you have. If it doesn't have it, then it doesn't put it in there. Right, uh, it finds some screenshots, some images of uh, movies, and then over on the left here, what you can do is sort it out, and you can go to movie library, or you can go to my movies. This is what's in my computer right now, and sort it out by genre if you wanted to. Add filters, sort out uh, A through Z or recently added. Right, manage your sources. We'll get into that in a little bit. Right, so that's the movies. And same thing with the TV shows. These are the TV shows that I have on my computer. And that's uh, linked up, which is pretty cool. 
All right, so uh, I'll get into files because that's related to what we're looking at here. Here are some of the unresolved. These are uh, all of the drive that's on my computer, my network, and then the other networks that's uh, on the computers. So under unresolved videos, this is basically what Boxy could not find for. And a lot of these are like video tutorials. So they're very structured in a different way, right? And so you can always just go through here, or they're like numbered in a funky way. So Boxy just couldn't find it. Okay. So the last thing I want to get into is apps. So these are the media streaming content, right? So this is my app library. Or actually, no, it's not my app library. Here's my app library. So these are the programs that I subscribe to. Uh, my online streaming content, my services that I have uh, on my own screen here that I uh, customized, right? So the, depending on the frequency of how often you use a, uh, a particular app will show up. So the last thing I did today was uh, I was on Pandora, right? So I'll go to here and I'll click on start and it starts playing my Pandora. You have to have a Pandora account which is free. It has a lot of cool visualizations too. I'll take the drugs in 500. You get the cat. Right, so uh, that's pretty cool. And then uh, I also have Netflix, my Netflix account. I don't think I logged into my Netflix account yet. Oh, it's updating right now. Oh, I'll forget that. Um, Revision 3, that's another cool show that I like or network that I like watching so it has all the episodes here you just click on it right um, so yeah these are the apps now to get more apps you go to app library right and these are all the apps that uh, Boxy has to offer or is partnered with so if I wanted uh, the open courseware which is pretty cool I'll click on add to my apps or you don't have to add it to your apps if you just click on start and where is it open courseware oh I gotta go to my apps and there it is open courseware right so this is pretty much the gist of it. There's a lot more you can do. Um, one more thing is the uh, social networking type thing where you find other people who are on Boxy and uh, you can see what they're watching um, or what they're into. I don't know how that works really because I don't know anybody else that has uh, Boxy for me to try out, I guess. I don't know. But uh, that's something um, that it also features. Uh, you can start adding stuff to a queue, so if there's like shows and episodes. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to go into is uh, messing around with some of the settings. Like I said, uh, this is on my one machine and it's running on my TV. And by default, it'll probably run on your computer screen. So if you want it to run on your TV or another monitor, you have to tell it to. Right, so under look and feel... Right, you can enter in your information here that's relevant to where you're at. And then for screen, under resolution, I have it to my uh, uh, number two screen. Right, I can have it windowed, so it's in a window, it's not full screen. I can have it uh, on my first screen, that's my main monitor screen. And, uh, but I'm just going to leave it on my. Um, TV and you can mess around more with the settings and it'll tell you uh, over scan uh, what rate aspect ratio you want and even more advanced calibrations I don't want to mess with it because it looks fine uh, screen saver mode you can have it dim after about 20 minutes or you can set it to however much you want And also the sounds, the, those are pretty much typical. I like to leave that. Background image, you can select the background image rather than having this uh, night sky sort of thing going on. But uh, I like it. It's fine. 
right? And so here are the uh, settings for your files, uh, where you want it to go. You got a point boxy to find all of your files. You can point them to individual uh, file folders, or you can uh, just let it access a whole drive. So on my particular machines, there's two places where I got video files. One is on my D drive, which is indicated here. I can remove the source. Uh, you can scan the source. You do have to tell it what media types are in there, right? And then uh, uh, how often you want it to scan. So if you add files to it daily, then uh, you want to set it to daily or uh, never scan. You can manually do scans yourself if you wanted to. Uh, or monitored, so uh, it constantly checks to see if you got new video stuff in there, right? And then, so um, my network here. This is uh, I got another Mac in the living room, so I have that sharing um, files, and so this right here. The, uh, I'm sharing the drive uh, from the living room PC and so this is where I can add the source so let me see what other sources there are so if I click on add sources right so this is that uh, everything that boxy can pick up here's my local drive here's another MacBook uh, that I have um, that's sitting right here actually and the living room computer and then a universal plug-and-play device I don't know what that is I think it might be my PS3 and then uh, I can manually enter an IP address of a machine to uh, look for it across the network right so if you were to share a folder on a computer somewhere um, you can do that in I think uh, Windows, it's pretty easy. You just have a folder or drive, you right click, you go to sharing, advanced sharing, share this device, um, then click on OK and it'll, it'll, uh, Boxy will pick it up. So you have to hit rescan when you do that and then it'll just scan your whole network and every drive and whatnot, see what else is showing. Right? Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Here's some of the audio settings that you can deal with. So one last thing that I recommend um, if you have this, I can use this on my TV and I can still continue to use my computer. Um, I don't have to switch between the two, it doesn't go out of full screen, it seamlessly, I can just move my mouse over and do stuff, right? But uh, one thing I think you should pick up is a remote that has a USB um, connection to your computer. So right now I have my receiver that's underneath my TV. It's an IR remote. Is it? Yeah. And I have the receiver underneath my TV and it's a USB cable that plugs into my computer. And uh, I've got the remote here and it's got a directional pad on it. So then if you look here on the screen, right, I'm clicking around and it's so convenient to use. So much easier. So that's the whole point of this interface is to be able to use a device like this. Another thing too is that they make an app for the iPhone um, and you can use it to control. It's like a remote app for the iPhone that you can plug in. Um, I don't like using it because it really drains the battery uh, because the, the device has to be running and your uh, iPhone or iPod Touch or whatever has to be connected to the Wi-Fi constantly. So running the Boxy app means that it's, it's constantly going to be draining the battery. And uh, when you're watching a movie and stuff like that, or sometimes you just even forget that it's even connected because you leave, the battery will die. But this is definitely a lot easier to have oh and it's not even it's actually not even uh, IR because I'm not pointing it at the uh, TV or at the receiver or maybe it is
Oh yeah, it is. It is on air. Yeah, so, sorry. Alright, uh, that pretty much concludes this overview of the Boxy program. Um, thanks for watching. Peace!